The Kasama tribe is falling to pieces. That's right, it's about to get shattered. Survivor, season 27, episode 9. Now, last week, as you could, if you saw my review, yes, I could not remember the name of the newly formed, the merged tribe, okay? It's the Kasama tribe. And I'm really digging her flag, as you can see my thumbnail. I'm really digging that purple. Purple looks beastly. And I'm really digging in the names. Better than uh, Tatana and uh, Galong. Actually, Galong's pretty cool, but Kasama's better. Anyways, <laughs> enough, enough with all that. So, the um, the tribe is reeling after the semi blind side. The establishment of the alliance, the major alliance, the alliance of seven, and the Kasama tribe with Oris's, uh vote out slash defeat, dethroning, however you want to say it, alright? Excellent. Excellent. Vetus, Vetus was fuming. Insane. But Tina though. Tina's like, she came out and said it. She's like, she voiced it. Uh, uh, Vetus eventually said that in the uh, tribal council. Tina comes out and just lays it all out on the line how she feels, y'all. She said, she started calling people out. She called Tyson out, all right, saying, yo, yeah, you, you a traitor. And Tyson, you know, Tyson this, epi this episode, playing the game. There's nobody playing the game better than Tyson right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I got to say, all my people still safe. When you see my previous reviews, you know that's Hayden, Tyson, and Lower M. Yes, indeed. All still safe. So Tyson, Tyson's, you know, he's firing back and saying, you know, Ars was trying to, you know, get kingpin control everything, yo. And, and, and yo, come on, man. Don't don't be trying me like this. Remember, you know, we had to play. Vitas was saying, though, it was an excellent play for the game. Gameplay, excellent gameplay. Like, he understood the difference. See, that's when men, I got to say this, men typically do that. Or can do that if we're not blinded by emotion. Will we be able to understand the difference between, what, you know, our own desires and what is good, you know, necessary, essential play? So, in this whole thing, Tyson, you know, Tyson, through this whole episode, is trying to hide the fact that he has the idol of immunity. He doesn't want to make himself a target. And he doesn't want to push stuff, okay? He doesn't want to make himself the king. He ain't trying to go out. He's trying to play his team very, very smart. But he's trying to use influence and kind of manipulate. Vetus is indefinitely though is definitely doing a manipulative, you know, pulling the strings, right? Because he's trying to because he knows he's a low man and he's like he's trying to get people to realize other things. I mean, I think he's an excellent game player. For this season, Vetus has been one of the best game players, really has. And just going into the challenge though. Going into this challenge. This eating competition. Look, anytime it's an eating competition, one of the hardest challenges ever. It doesn't matter what it is across any game. Eating challenges are ridiculous. And yeah, so you know, the first out of the first round, only six make it, and then only two make it to the third round, right? And it was Jervis and Monica. Monica was not expected. Not gonna lie, Monica went beast in this one. Jervis, I was really rooting for Jervis in this challenge, but nah. Monica pulls out. I'm like, yo, out of nowhere. I'm like, okay, she's not as weak as I thought she was. Cause like I said, this is eating challenges are one of the hardest. That's it takes a lot of a lot a lot of stuff, okay, to do them eating challenges. And I I, I gotta give it to Monica. I have to give it to her. But I mean well, what 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 makes Monica comes a little bit later? So during this, well, actually no, no. Tyson starts to see something because Monica's doing all this. She's talking too much and she's showing some paranoia. Uh, and Jervis wasn't vibing with that. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't vibing that. He's like, yeah, the uncertainty in in stuff. Cause see, Monica even she voiced and she said she switched the vote. Cause apparently she and the alliance was supposed to vote for uh, Katie, okay, Tina's daughter, but she she ended up voting for Aris. So she's a you know she's a loose cannon. You can't be having that. You can't have 
have those loose cannons. You know? It's like if you watch Sons of Anarchy, Galen, okay? You you can't have that. It's really, really bad. Really, really bad. So, you know, Tyson and Jervis are talking and they're like, you know, we, we might have to ask her. But we go to tribal and Invitus with them daggers, though. Them daggers. He says so much stuff that I, I can't even remember all of it. But he was just spitting out rapid fire stuff. He didn't even care. He was doing, he was pushing up, you know, trying to push it. And, you know, but at the end of the day, they said, nah, we just got to go. Got to go. Which is interesting. It makes it very, very interesting. Moving on, right? Now the dynamics, very interesting. Now the dynamic is pretty much the, what seemed to be, powerful at one point that not with the seven you know person alliance is you know is not powerful it's actually in danger katie and tina and tina's telling katie yo you know i'm a target okay you got to do what you got to do to stay in this game you got to do what you got to do to play to stay alive in this game with or without me that is what i'm talking about gamesmanship that's what I'm talking about. But I know Tyson did say something. If everybody played like Tina, Tyson would win easily. I, I love that. But in this one, you know, then, you know, th this was interesting. And, and we see, once again, the the, the rift that Monica, because she knows she's the low. She knows she's on the low. And she doesn't feel safe. So that paranoia is creeping in. Now with this challenge, though, this was very one of the most interesting challenges. You could say the challenges are getting harder. It was, with the coin thing, it was a very delicate challenge. And I thought Lorian would stand a better chance. No. No. But it kept focusing, they did kept focusing on Katie. And I knew Katie, you know, she had that focus, like, that serious focus. I'm like, dang, she might pull it out. It was, uh, you know, Sierra didn't do well, that, that well either. Okay. It, who, who was the ending for? Dang. It's been a couple days since I seen it. Life got in the way, you know, that happens. That's why this review didn't come out Thursday. I forgot, probably forgot to mention that at the beginning. But it is what it is we hear now. Anyways, you know, it was Katie and a couple others. I believe it was Tyson and, um, it wasn't Jervis. I forget. Oh, it was Hayden and I believe Tyson were with her. And Hayden and Tyson went out the same time. Katie, dynamite. She gets the immunity. She's straight. So, Tina feels the pressure. She's searching for the eye. The idol, the immunity idol. And look, nobody knows at this point that Tyson has it right. She she actually guessed the right spot. I mean she she was digging in the right spot, but you know, Tyson had already moved it, right? Here's the kicker. They sent a watch the group sent a watch, you know, watch dogs after her. So a lot of times she couldn't look. Even though twice she, she did escape that what she revealed at uh tribal council, right? And like that was that was quite intelligent. I think it was Caleb Tyson and who else was it Hayden? I'm trying to remember who went with him. But that I thought that was very excellent with that game plan that they did there. You know, make put that pressure and make sure Tina doesn't find that item because if she does, it's gonna screw up things. But that was the second option. Monica, Monica, look, man, she's gotta go. She's got to go. She's overstayed her welcome by far. She too much, man. You know. I, I was cool with it at first, you know, with the beginning of the scene, but she, she just, no, you just can't be having this. You can't be having people just want to do what they want to do. You can't have people creating tension and drama in, in a tribe. You just can't do it. So Monica, you know, the cracks have begun to fit. And Tina was trying to expose that and then to the point where I thought they weren't my ex. You know, Monica and stuff because Vita, you know, they Tina kept talking about the power alliance, you know, of of Tyson and and um and Jervis and something else I noted at the at the uh tribal council because by the way, Tina did go. Yeah, I thought Monica might go, but not Tina. So, so the obvious pick she left. So it's just Katie left, and Katie's gonna Katie's gonna stay, even though I thought she was weak. Her winning this challenge proved me wrong. It did. She's not one of the weakest players, actually. She's just maybe not as skilled in a lot of challenges, but she's not that weak. So, so what we left with is Monica is on her way up. She better be, unless somebody else 
you know. Because, look, at this point, Laura M., she could possibly be on the way. Sierra straight. Sierra straight. Hayden should be straight. Vetus, and, I mean, not Vetus, Tyson and Jervis should be straight. And who am I saying? Caleb. See, because apparently now Caleb and Hayden are in an alliance as well, and we did see a little bit of that one scene of that. So apparently they're so we we starting to see the even more of the fissure, okay? And in all this, in all this, Katie will survive. She she'll survive. She'll at least team up with Sierra. Like, yo, Kasama is it's it's a massacre, and depending on who comes back, see. This Redemption Island is of huge importance. Did, whoever comes back may determine the winner of this game. Because if it's Aris, Aris, I don't know. Ar, Aris is a strong player, so he's strong. So it we'll see, and he brings off that positive energy, you know, that positive, but he does try to be Kingpin. You got Vetus. Vetus is coming back for blood. Okay, he wants he wants revenge, vengeance. I'm not sure which. I think I'll go more on the revenge side. Okay, he wants blood, and he's not cool with the way Ars is going now. You even heard when he's talking about his brother. He blames Ars. He, he was guilty by association. He's like, all right, you know, pretty much Ars screwed up his gameplay. So Vetus is coming back, and if Vetus comes back in the game, he may win. Pants down, he he may win this. You know, he's manipulative and, and whatever. Manipulative, not in a bad way. He just knows how to play the game. He's a great game player. And Tina, T if Tina comes back, she could push the females to victory. One of the females to victory. So, depending on Redemption Island, you know, they've, they've made a power keg on, on the votes. Understandable votes, but they've made a power keg. By, by selecting Tina, uh, you know, you know, by kicking Vetus out, they, they've made a power keg. Okay? But in so, in so, like, I don't know how this, you know, Katie could align with, with Sierra and Laura M, for example, and the Tyson Vitas. And, and one last point I would like to make. I've seen in the last two tribal councils that Tyson, somebody voted for Tyson. Somebody. So, somebody wants Tyson gone. So, we'll see. Next episode is going to be very, very interesting. We'll see what, what transpires. You don't expect to want to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me y'all thoughts on this episode. Tell me y'all thoughts on, on Kasama's quick dismantling. I mean quick. Tell me your, your thoughts on the alliance. Who's your favorite Who's your favorite player or players? Um, and yeah, tell me what y'all thought about the challenges. All right, y'all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Peace.